glance you think, oh, square? Oh, I can't play with that. I'm used to using a round pear-shaped club. Mm -hmm. That all disappeared, you know, as soon as technology became uh, key. When people talk about the traditional shape, the pear shape, I, w I wondered why it was uh, the way it was and how did people get used to that? You know, it became, you know, now it's the most traditional look. Mm -hmm. Originally, that was the best shape that would not break when it was made out of a persimmon. Obviously, it's a square, it's more stable. The ball just doesn't curve as much. I mean, it will if you want it to, but a miss hit or a, a one that you don't hit perfect, it, it doesn't go offline as much as, say, a standard looking driver or an older technology driver. That's designed to get in the air a little bit more easily, spin a little bit more easily. It's a little bit better suited, you know, maximum forgiveness, higher MOI, all those things that we've been touting. It's a lot harder to twist it. It, wa it wants to stay level because if you twist it this way, if you go left with the club face, then the whole backside's got to go right. Exactly. And it, the club don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. So I was sold right away with a square driver. When you start hitting it down the middle of every fairway with the, 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 the right trajectory every time, you know, you fall in love with the club, really. The more I hit this thing, but the better that club head started to look. Whoa. This one's going home with me. <laughs>